From its early start, Denver was a small town with big dreams. An ambitious city determined to claim its place in the limelight. And its founding fathers had the right idea. Denver, they thought, was to become the cultural hub of the Rockies, the Paris on the Platte, with classical architecture, a master civic plan, the regional financial center, and a fine municipal band. The Denver Municipal Band is a great gesture. That music isn't just for the wealthy who can go to the symphony concerts, it's for everybody, for everyone that shows up at public parks and particularly the poor that don't have the money to pay for a symphony ticket, they can go to the city park and hear a free performance of fine classical music. Since 1891, the Denver Municipal Band has played for millions of Denver citizens and visitors and punctuated a long list of city ceremonial events, performing music drawn from a rich repertoire for all to enjoy. All the while, weathering the First World War, the Great Depression, the Second World War, Vietnam, the tech bubble burst, and a one-night incarceration in a Denver jail. Unlike, let's say, the Molly Brown House or the Central Bank or Civic Center as a physical structure, which is event great interest and, uh, and pride to me as a Denverite, uh, as a native Denverite, it is bricks and mortar. Uh, there's still life within the buildings, etc. But the band's life comes alive each night and then goes away each night. We start playing at 7:30. By by 9:15, those guys pack up. The wagon is pulled away. The park goes to dark, and it's like we weren't ever there. From Sousa, Broadway, and big band jazz, the Denver Municipal Band today plays music as culturally diverse as the community it serves. From its marching origins and traditional park settings to the modern concert hall and classroom, the band continually evolves as it seeks to complete a second century of service. My feeling about the band has always has been this, that it brought together a culture of races which we couldn't have had, didn't have before. I truly believe that the Denver Municipal Band is a profound resource for the community and enriches many, many thousands of people's lives and, and gives them a cultural experience that they wouldn't be able to get in any other way. And for that, I am perpetually appreciative. This is Gerald Ensley, the director of the Denver Municipal Band, speaking to you from the historic City Park Band Shell in Denver, Colorado. I hope you've enjoyed the brief snippet you just saw, which is part of a larger documentary that the band is producing to better illuminate its extensive history, its current activities, and also to serve as a prospectus for the future as well. Please consider joining the support group to help us tell this very important story. Thank you. <laughs>